Hey guys, this is Swift here for Chinese Tech and today I'll be doing an unboxing of a new product and you can see here already is the Asus Zenfone 5 Asus or Asus, uh, however you want to pronounce that So uh, this is a relatively new product, it came out about a month ago I believe, not too sure and uh, it is one of the, this model at least is the budget uh, phone at least it's priced at a budget price uh, and it is by this very company uh, that does a lot a lot of great stuff uh, you, sh you might know them if you have your own DIY computer etc for their great graphics card motherboards etc so this is Asus and um, they have been in the phone making or at least tablet or phone hybrid making business for quite some time already but of course they're not as uh, known for their phones at least I do not know much of their phones Except this time around, they they came out a a full fledged phone. I believe the previous one is the pet phone or something like that, where you it's like a hybrid. You can use it as a phone. You can slot it into a dock to make it become a tablet or something like that. Uh, that is all I know about them. But this time around, we have the phone with us, the Zen Phone Five. Now this phone has. Uh, lots and lots of different specifications depending on where you buy it. Uh, if, for example, if you buy in Taiwan, uh, the CPU come clock at uh, comes clock at 2.0 gigahertz, I believe. This one that I purchased uh, in Singapore, uh, on, it's only clocked at 1.6 or 1.8. I'm not too sure. Then there are va uh, variants to the RAM as well so uh, do take note on of the specifications they are not the same where you buy it anyway so uh, that's one thing you want to take note uh, in the full review I would have the I will have the specification table and you will have all the I'll list at least list out all the different uh, options that they provide at least so th that's that uh, this time around we're just going to take a very quick look at the phone as well as unbox it first and foremost so uh, it comes shrink wrap. I had to take it out first so that it's easier. And uh, yeah, let's just take a look around the box. So there we go, the Zen Phone 5. And we have here a preview to the phone as well as the custom uh, UI that they have running for their phones. And there we go, we have the Intel uh, branding because it is one of the few devices that uses uh, Intel Atom processors. Uh, most you will see, at least in your flagship phones, you see Qualcomm Snapdragon processors. If not in your Chinese phones, we have um, the MediaTek CPUs. So we have a Intel Atom processor here. At the back, nothing much. And here we have some interesting logos. I believe they just state some of the features. We have a battery sign here, probably signifying uh, long battery life. I'm not sure. Not sure what is this. We have 3G support, Wi-Fi, headphone support, okay. <laughs> Bluetooth 4.0, as well as a camera. Now, if you look closely, that would be a camera. All right, so let's take a look at what is inside now one thing i really like is how it slides out instead of you uh lifting it up uh, like most phones so you slide it out and we are greeted with the phone itself now the phone itself we see we have um some features i guess the top features that they want to let you know immediately we have 8 megapixel camera at the back up to 400 percent brighter photos and video Hmm, okay, we'll test that out and see if what the claim is correct or true rather. We have a uh, Corning Gorilla Glass 3, always nice to have protection for your screen, as well as they advertise their Zen UI. This is their custom uh, Android, um, at least that's for their company. So we'll see if that is good as well. Now let's lift this up. We'll take a look at the phone later with some serial numbers not important and then lifting this up ah okay so we have with us a user manual the Zen phone 5 you can read it if you want you can read it if not you can just do it yourself try trial, trial and error usually works I guess all right just some information for you and we have the warranty cut 
Okay, we have a wall charger. Now this is the UK adapter, and it uses this um. Would code it the style that I believe Samsung started it. I'm not sure uh, where you have to push the the third pin up uh, to you like you uh if you want to use it and then you can push it back down to save space. I suppose. Not sure. Um, if it really saves space, that is. We have all right. Let's just take a look at this first. We have a USB to micro USB. Okay, standard syncing and charging and data cable all in one we have the earphones now this looks slightly higher quality than uh what other phone manufacturers might give we might or might not test this out and oh look at that now this is a very nice touch uh, they provide uh, additional size different size uh, earbuds i think that's what they're called we have larger ones and smaller ones as well so for those of you who are scared that the normal size ones do not fit uh, or give you a proper fit then you are you should be covered here anyways so it's very nice uh, we seldom see um, phone manufacturers give that oh i haven't seen this is the first time i see anyone give <laughs> uh edit different sizes uh, the earbuds at least so let's just put that all back and let's just take a quick look at the phone itself. Now we have some, what's this? Okay, it's just telling you how to open up the, the, Zen, the Zen phone to install your the back cover at least. Okay. Now. Now let's just take a look around the phone. Uh, okay, at the front we have again I believe this is a five inch screen. Again, I'm not too sure. I just got this today, so I'll I'll be doing a more detailed uh, specifications, etc. I'll give you more details in the full review. But this is the, I believe it's a five inch screen. Yeah, I'm not too sure. And uh, it has the Gorilla Glass. We have three capacitive buttons at the bottom. Some additional bezel here. Now this feels weird. He has this textured f finish, textured metallic finish. Not sure what I make out of that. Okay, uh, the logo. I believe that is a front camera. The light stuff, All right? And at the top, we have the three point five millimeter audio jack. At the bottom, we have your micro USB port. At the right side, we have the um, volume rocker as well as the power switch or the screen on and off okay at the left side nothing except the groove for you to pry open the back cover and at the back we have the 8 megapixel camera which they say it has some smart view or something like that we have to test it out LED flash the logo again and branding for what it's have what it has and uh, some speaker grills at the back, which I hate again. I hate the back speaker grills, and this time around we only have one side. So if you cover it, then all the best. But we have to test that out. So yeah, let's just take a look at what the UI looks like. Alright, so I don't have anything plugged in yet, but this is the UI. This is the lock screen at least, or the Zen UI. This is the latest one at least, that's what they say on the sticker. Okay, swipe screen in any direction to unlock. Okay. So it's very smooth on first touch. And the phone, I must say, that uh, feels very premium. The, quali the quality, the materials they use uh, feels really good to the, in to the touch, you know. And the weight, there is some weight to it as well. So it definitely feels pretty good, especially for the price that you pay for it. It is good. At least for now. Okay. So yeah, that's about it. This is my unboxing. Uh, for the full review, will come in about uh, a week's time. I would have to use the phone, and then I can give you my thoughts and conclusion on that. Uh, if you have any questions or things that you want me to look specifically into, uh, do leave a comment. Otherwise, this is the Asus or Asus Zenfone Five. I will get back to you guys in a week's time for the review. Now again, uh, if you want to be 
keep track of all our videos, do subscribe, and you can also visit our website at www.chinesetech.net.